Hi, Leather Rock here. Welcome to my channel. So take a look at this makeup I have for you today. This is from the B&H Cosmetics Color Festival palette and I'm featuring fuchsia and lavender and gold and if you want to see how I did it, stay tuned. First thing I'm going to do is use the e.l.f. liner sealer and eye primer to prep my eyelids. I'm going to just go ahead and use the monitor so it's easier for you guys to see. Just so you know, I'm hoping this darn thing doesn't shut off in the middle of my filming this. I've had this camera, which is of course my webcam of my computer, shut off four times. And the warranty is very close to expiring and I don't want to have to pay for an extended warranty. Well, can't afford pay for an extended warranty so and you guys probably don't care about these things you just want to see your videos on schedule but sometimes we do have problems with our equipment okay next thing we're going to do I'm going to do get a nice big fluffy blending brush and Using the Color Festival palette, I am going to use this pale shade here called Disco. It's a very frosty, white looking shade that actually looks, well it's a white looking shade that has a lot of pink and gold in it. I'm going to bring this close to the back of the wall to see how much of this shows up. I'm going to double check in the mirror here. Let's see a little bit more. Maybe add a little bit more. Just be careful not to cover up your eyebrows. Which, like I did the last time, I also used with this palette. And be advised, powder colors for your eyebrows are not waterproof. But they really come in handy if you're not really going anywhere and you want to make it easy to wash your face before going to bed. I'm going to use now, uh, this is an e.l.f. brush. It's an e.l.f. C brush. I paid a dollar for it. And I am going to go and put this color called Sequins on the lid. That's a matte fuchsia color. And the only reason why it has that funny spot in there is because I got it wet with a wet brush. And apparently matte colors a lot of times don't do well with uh, getting wet. I'm going to put this pack. The C brushes are really good for packing solid color. And I'm just going to follow the dome shape of the eyelid. repeat on this side now I'm going to bring this closer to the back wall check for symmetry Okay, I think I need to apply some more. I'm getting eyeshadow all over my keyboard. That's looking pretty much how I want it. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the number 17 brush, B&H Cosmetics. Glad I have three of these. This has to be my absolute favorite brush, I think. I'm going to dip into a color called Pop. It is a matte lavender color. And load the brush with it. 
and I'm going to pretty much go over the very top of it to give some crease definition. This gives a blended look without actually having to blend. I think I need to get some more and check, see what it looks like in here. Now I think we need something sparkly. And for that, I'm going to get, oh, this brush will work well. This brush is by Vivace. I got it at the 99 cent store. And I am going to pick this shiny, very pale pink color that is called Banger. First I thought it said Winger. Of course, we know. I don't see much better than Stevie Wonder, so be very afraid when I finally get a driver's license again. Well, I'll have to have vision correction to drive, of course. And I'm going to go right into the corner and I'm going to wiggle. Repeat on the other side, just right where the indentation is. Stick it in, not in your eye, but just in that hole, whatever. Well, it's not a hole, but you know what I mean. And I'm going to check for symmetry. You want that glow. And you know what? I'm going to load the brush again, and I'm going to start going underneath the eye this far. And do on this side, just maybe half inch or so. With this, you know what? These brushes, they're starting to get inside some lipsticks that don't have lids, and that's just going to create a mess. So, put these here, get another brush. Okay, this is by Wet n Wild. This they call a crease brush, but I really think it's much too big to be a very good crease color unless you really want thick crease. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to get into this gold color here. There is a darker gold color called EDM. All the names on this palette are supposed to evoke club culture. So if some of the names seem a little odd, I guess that's why. Now I'm going to go and use the edge of this. You could actually use different parts of a brush to get different effects. And I'm going to go a little bit over some of that uh, lavender, like this much of it, and then I'm going to repeat how I'm applying the color or how I'm getting the color loaded onto the brush is I'm taking the shadow and I'm twirling this so that I get on the edge. I'm going to go on the other side just and if I can't see it repeat you can sweep a few more times if you want to see more. Do the other side again I get the feeling that it's more visible on this side, so put a little bit more. I have to keep on rechecking this since where the overhead light is, sometimes it looks like the eyeshadow is heavier on one side than the other, and that is, I'm pretty sure, an optical illusion. But that said, it's still annoying. I think I need more definition in this. So I'm going to use 
a multi-purpose brush. This is a B&H Cosmetics, uh, what the hell is it? I think it's V5. V stands for vegan. So no animal parts were used in the making of this brush. I'm going to, well, first thing I'm going to do is I am going to dip into this very, very, very dark purple. And it's called Rave. And I'm going to get it on the very edges of the brush. I am going to go under the eye first. But I'm not going to go over that highlighted area. Repeat on the other side. I actually rehearsed this look the other day, but I didn't complete the diagram, so I'm... I just want it to be more interesting than when I only started with the first couple of colors, it blended too much and ended up looking too natural by the end of the day. So, that's the risk you take when you have too simple a look. It might not stand the test of time if you have a long day, especially if you are taking a face mask on and off and you're going in and out dealing with wind outside and possible friction of taking off a hat or something. I'm going to get some more color on this brush and then I'm going to go over a little tiny bit of the crease just up here. Do the same thing. And try to make it symmetrical. So you may need to step back. And in order for this to really show up, I think it's important to do little to no blending of this crease. You really want it to show up whether or not your eyes are open or whether they're closed. Let's get close to the wall to see what this looks like. I think it's time for some eyeliner. And for that, let's see what's in the back. Okay, I am going to pick this eyeliner from Too Faced. It's called Better Than Sex. They sell it as a waterproof eyeliner, like I've told you before. On me, it is not waterproof. So for that reason, I am going to go ahead and use this. If I was going outside to film, uh, if I was going to meet up with friends or do a promotional appearance or something professional, or anything where I couldn't risk smearing and not looking good, I would not use this eyeliner. I would use something that I knew was waterproof. But you should wear whatever is most appropriate for your circumstances. There's definitely something to be said for something that's easy to take off, especially if you're really tired. We all have those times when we just want to go to bed. And you know, there was, back in the day, I always went to bed with makeup on. Some of it was because I wasn't alone and I wanted to look good. Some of it was because even if I maybe did not have company, so to speak, I usually lived with roommates and there could be people coming and going at any time and I wanted to look good. Some of it was because I didn't sleep a whole lot and I always felt I had to be um, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and ready for whoever would show up so that I looked decent. Sometimes I thought, well, if there's a fire, I wanted to look good for the firemen, you know. I think I'm going to use a little bit more of the this eyeliner. They say you should shake it. That's supposed to help it with, uh, well, shaking it mixes it. 
I don't know if it helps with the uh, waterproof qualities but it's really interesting how things can work for some people and not for others I would think something as basic as a waterproofing that should be pretty cut and dried either something is waterproof or it's not but the human body is a really interesting thing and if you are like me and you're prone to sinus issues even like say when you go outside the wind hits your eyeballs and it can make your eyes teary or if the sinuses cause you to be have a runny nose and watery eyes and that is definitely my case you know what I think I want to add a little bit more eyeshadow I am going to go back with the elf C brush and I'm going to go back into the lid color that matte fuchsia I really think it's important for the lid color to definitely look opaque but don't disturb the additional crease color you just want to just intensify that some more and then I would go and get some more of this gold color with this brush focusing on this and this time I'm just going to tap put these back let's see what this looks like I think it's time for a mascara. I gotta get it. Hold on. Here it is. This mascara is by Yankina. It's 36H, 36 hour. It says waterproof curl mascara. I think if it is waterproof, it's washable waterproof. I've noticed I don't need to use an oil to take this off. So it doesn't take a long time. I'm able to just use soap and water and then maybe um, oh what's that called um, I'm looking at it uh, anyway when I'll, when I think of it I'll tell you I'm looking at it uh, witch hazel that's a really good thing to put on your face after you wash it. it it does seem to take care of any soap residue residue that you may not realize you have I'm balancing my laptop with my left hand as I'm doing this. I'm going to take a look at what I see in the mirror here. Sometimes when I'm doing my mascara, I always feel like I'm smearing it. time for some cheat color and I have to get that here we go I'm going to use the Ulta Beauty shine brighter makeup collection that I got last Christmas and you can see it has 
a eyeshadow palette and it has a cheek palette. This cheek palette is really subtle. I don't use it a whole lot. As you can see, very little of these have gotten any kind of pan at all. This is one of the makeup brushes that came with the kit. This is by Ulta Beauty. And I am going to, well, since my options are limited, I'm going to use the matte pink blush, what they call it, or, or nude pink blush is what it's called. And I'm just going to use the inner third. Oh, that's a save. Almost dropped it on the floor. That is so subtle. I can't even see it. So I'm going to have to be very, very generous with this. I swear I can't even see that so you know what I'm going to do I'm going to go into uh, I'm afraid this might clash but you know what I'm going to use it anyway and this is the frosty bronzer and I'm just going to go back over this Do it on the other side. What? And then, you know what I'm going to do? Come here. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, no, you don't. Look who I am. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he tried. He saw I was going to go reach for him. And he tried to run away. Oh, yes, he does not want to be in my video today. Oh, my goodness. He says, oh, you are not going to exploit me. You are not going to exploit me. Oh, yes, I am. Because I love you. I love you. I feed you. I clean your litter box today. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. I love you. And I'm going to exploit you for my YouTube channel. And I'm going to do it the same for Cassie. And I'm going to do it for every cat I have. Because I can. Mm -hmm. Oh. He's like, man, put me down. All right, I'll put you down. You smell like pee. Yeah, you do. How you? How? Why is that? Why you smell like that? Hmm. I, sh I should give you a bath. If I knew how to safely give a cat a bath without getting sliced and diced. Oh. Okay. I would like to add some highlight and. The so-called highlights on this are, I don't think, suitable for somebody who's extremely pale like I am. So, I am not going to use them. I'm going to use a nice fluffy brush. And I am going to use probably my favorite highlighter palette. This is from B&H Cosmetics. It's the Black Light Highlight. And all the colors are named. And I'm going to use the gold one. It's called Electra. And brushes like this are perfect for highlighters. You can just tap them on the skin. And I'm going to use my mirror for this. Repeat. I don't know if you can hear the ambient music, but we have some, we have a lot of neighbors who don't speak English, and somebody's having a party up the street. You know, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and they keep on saying how we're not supposed to have parties and stuff because of the spread of COVID-19, and they are playing uh, rock en espanol <laughs> up the street. On one hand, it's nice that people are getting along and not fighting, but there's so many people that don't seem to be taking this thing seriously. I'm going to also... 
Cupid's bow. Mm. And and somebody slamming the door downstairs, which uh, can't stand it. I just want to get out of here so badly. You don't know. Okay, I think I need a lip color. And you know what? I know that I've already used this recently. I don't care. I'm going to use it again. This is a B&H Cosmetics Comfort Cream Lipstick. And... No. You know what? No. I will, I will use something different. I will use this B&H Cosmetics. Uh, this is the Color Lock line. And this color is called Passionate. And the thing with these, you really need to leave keep the lids on very tightly. If you don't, they will dry out. The fact that they are dry makes them very good for wearing under a mask, but they are also, because they can dry out, then it makes it a little bit harder to put them on. Mm. Oh boy. This is very very firm I really love this color though What do you think? Okay, let's back up, get a good look, and I just got more things to wash now. Okay, what do you think? Oh, you got to see Cassie. Let me get Cassie. Look who's here. You didn't think I was going to have a video, and I have Cassie. See? Mm. You know what? I think maybe... I should blend my cheek color a little bit. Well, if I need to do that, it's good to use a nice big fluffy brush. And this brush might actually be from IT Cosmetics, but I actually ground squirted it on, the ground, on uh, a dance floor last year. And of course, took it home, washed it very, very, very carefully. But come on. You know how expensive brushes like this would normally be? This is over $30, this brush would be. You like it? Okay. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, I'd love to have you subscribe. I'd like to take you on my adventures. If you do subscribe, make sure you hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Talk to you soon. Stay safe. Bye.